What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. It is a beautiful evening here in Los Santos. We just spawned in in our office and so uh, we have a very exciting new thing to check out that was just added in to the game today. So if we go to Legendary Motorsport, you guys are going to see we have a brand new vehicle. The Grotti Turismo Classic. This thing starts at $705,000. And this is one for the purists. No high-tech driving aids, no smart safety features. When you're three nanoseconds away from getting a mouthful of truck in the front, no onboard supercomputer is gonna save you. But just like learning a language or killing a stranger with your bare hands, this kind of work is its own reward. So uh, this thing's gonna be pretty sick. This is a throwback for sure. So this thing is modeled after old school Ferraris. I've already bought it and had it delivered to our garage, so we're gonna go to Office Garage 1 here. But it's, um, it's mainly based off of the F40, I believe. It looks a lot like the F40, which is one of the most iconic Ferraris of all time. Um, I kind of see a little bit of the Testarossa in it, especially on the rear end, but um, mainly F40. I mean, the, the whole thing all the way around has elements of the F40, so we'll see what you guys think. But I think it's a pretty good looking vehicle. It's um, it's considered a sports car, which I was kind of surprised by when I first thought I thought it'd be a supercar, but I guess old school Ferraris really don't have the performance that we're used to in, in kind of the newer age Ferraris and Lambos and stuff. But yeah, this thing, I don't know, it's big, it's boxy, it's got that huge rear ends, and uh, I just I think it looks pretty good, man. I like it a lot. Those pop-up headlights, kind of a little throwback feature there. Let's go ahead and hop inside of it. And let's see how this thing performs before we do any upgrades. All right, guys, here we go. Woo! Dude, that rear end looks so sexy. It sh Dude, she's got a dunk for sure. That's a Kim K booty right there. That is a big butt on this car. It's so boxy. Oh, man. I want him to add, like, the Enzo or something in. You get kind of an en Enzo vibe from the F40 a little bit with, like, all those air scoops and stuff, but yeah, this thing, it feels pretty good. It's a sports car, so it's not ridiculously fast. Feels like it's got a good weight, good control to it. I don't feel like I'm gonna fly out of the, the driver's seat, you know what I mean? Like sometimes these things are just so fast, they're hard to control, but I feel like, I feel like this thing's gonna be pretty solid. All right, so let's head back into our garage, and we're gonna take this thing up to our special little not gonna let me in, I was gonna say. We're gonna take this thing to our special little workshop and we're gonna see what we can do with this bad boy. And here we are, baby. It's considered a sports classic. All right. Well, as always, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna do all the blanket upgrades, like full armor, full engine, full turbo, everything else. I'm gonna come back when we get the, uh, the other stuff with you guys. Okay, so starting off with bumpers, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of options here, which is kind of exciting. So the stock bumper is just super traditional, classic, looks good. We've got the lightweight stock bumper, which cuts out that middle piece. I actually like that a little bit better. Classic racer front bumper with carbon. Ooh, the GT front bumper. Oh, the GT with carbon? Do we wanna add some carbon to this thing or should we keep it the classic color? What do you guys think? I mean, carbon always looks good, so we'll we'll go with the, the GT with carbon. All right, so engine. We can actually paint the engine block, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll figure out what color we're going to respray this thing first, because we're definitely going to respray it. Our last car was red, so I want to I wanna do something a little bit different. We could have carbon-tipped exhausts, chrome-tipped, titanium-tipped, or wides. Hmm, the wides look interesting and different, but I kind of like the, the duels on each side. So we're gonna go with the titanium tipped duels. Uh, hood, let's see what we have here. Oh, we could do a stripe. So instead of having the secondary color on the mirrors, we could have it as a stripe. Go with the vented hood, the vented with a stripe. Racer hood, racer with a stripe, that with a stripe. Oh, I don't know, man. The stripe looks pretty good. Ah, this is tough. This is really, really tough. Life is hard when we don't have too many striped cars, so I think I'm gonna go with Vinted for stripe now. We may end up mixing that up though. All right, so for lights, we'll put some Xenons in there, even though that'd be pretty ugly on an old school Ferrari, but we'll, we'll keep it there. We've got some sun strips, which you can change to different colors. I think I'm gonna leave that off. I don't think we need that. What about for skirts? 
Definitely want to go with the carbon skirts. Got a few different options for spoilers. Jesus, dude. It actually looks pretty good with no spoiler. I'm not gonna lie. How come it ta it charges you five thousand seven hundred dollars to take the spoiler off? That seems crazy. I like the carbon. I also like this one, the GT wing. Do you need a drink? That one I don't really like. And without it looks good too. Dude, that's really tough. <clears throat> I really like it without it. But I also kind of let's let's try the carbon GT wing. We got to keep a spoiler on there. All right, we already did transmission, turbo, wheels, windows. Okay, it's time to respray. Where's the respray at? Let's go ahead and respray here and figure out what we want for colors. So you guys, I've seen the comments before, and people are like, "Oh my gosh, she's making another red car." But then whenever I make a blue car, they're like, "Oh my gosh, she's making another blue car, or a black car, or a white car." There really aren't that many good options for colors in this game. Um, some of them I just feel like are a little bit ugly and ooh, this is kind of like a, a Black Ops 2 car right there but um, I don't know like white red black blue like what what else can I make it we made a pink car once we made a purple car all these shades of green I don't like at all the brown just looks like poo the blue doesn't look bad but I mean I think we, we did ultra blue on the the Chiron the green just looks like a Christmas tree. I just don't, I don't like a lot of the colors they have in this game. If you can think it, Got the candy red there. And it's a Ferrari, like what do we, we've gotta do something awesome with a Ferrari, right? To match the driver. We'll go with the, the black there. What do we do? If we get a cool secondary color. Oh, dude, that's actually kinda, <laughs> that's kinda, kinda sexy a little bit, I don't know. Let's see what else we can add in here. Black and yellow, black and yellow. We need something to pop here. The yellow actually did a pretty good job of popping. I just wanna make it something a little bit different. The white doesn't look bad either, but I feel like the and black and white is just a little bit, a little bit basic. Let's try the yellow. We're gonna try the regular yellow. And then what if we go back to our spoiler and did the second color wing. Your cosmetics are on point. And then we're gonna need to change up our, our rims here. The wheels definitely have to change. So what do we want here? Probably like sport. Oh, dude, those those are like traditional Ferrari wins rims, right? The diamond cut. Looks good. We can change them to black. Oh, we could do yellow. I think the yellow might be a little bit much. Regular yellow there. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. I like the black. The night purple. The black looks pretty good. I mean, that thing's pretty mean. It's like a... I don't know. I like it. We're going to go with the custom tires, bulletproof. Go with the yellow tire smoke. And then uh, probably black out the windows, right? Girl is looking good. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, that thing looks pretty pretty nasty. I wish we could change the calipers on there. If we could change the calipers, that'd be really sexy. But, I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's see for the, where are we at? Bumpers. We can't do a secondary color on any of the bumpers. I guess that looks pretty good to me. I don't mind it. Oh, we could change the plate. They have a black and yellow plate, right? Yeah, look at that. All right. Wiz Khalifa would be awfully proud of us. So we're going to exit to the ground. And we're going to go see what this thing is. Oh, we could have put some yellow. Oh, dude, we should put yellow underglow on there. Here we go, baby. There it is. Oh, man, this thing is sexy. I actually... I like how it turned out. I don't know. It's not really a classic Ferrari. Like, I would have loved to just leave it red. Because that's what pretty much all Ferraris are. But um, if we're going to mix it up and, and kind of make it our own, make it unique, then this is definitely a great way to go. And how come there are so many cars around here, dude? Whoa! Not cars. I meant cops. They're running into everything. What's happening over here? Bunch of helicopters. Like, seven police vehicles.
SWAT team's out. The cops are running over the SWAT team. I think they're going after this group of three over here. Let's go chase them down and see what's up. Oh, yeah. I'm a part of the SWAT team, baby. Woo! I mean, I was just trying to be nice and have fun with you. You didn't have to kill me. So one major problem I didn't even think about for this car is the class that it's in. So it's not just a sports car, it's a sports classic car. So like obviously the most popular race you can do, the most popular class of car is supercar. That's what you see most of the time, that's what you see in all the stunt races, that's what you see almost everywhere. And second to that are going to be the sports cars. So sports cars are still relatively popular, not quite up to the the popularity of the, the supers, but they're not bad. But classic sports and everything else pretty much are like way, way, way below in terms of popularity. So it's really, really hard to find a race that's using this thing. I've been searching for a race for over an hour and 40 minutes now, just sitting here backing out of lobbies because I kept getting stunt races. I kept getting, uh, kept getting supercar races and all kinds of stuff like that. Couldn't actually get something where we could use this. And here, we have just a, a full on street race, bro. This is just side by side, full on, straight on racing. Oh gosh, I, I'm sorry. I was trying to get cinematic there. I was trying to get, I, I didn't mean to do that. I swerved off the, the road there. Okay, we're at 11 out of 68. We have somebody coming up behind us. This is insane. This is like just full pedal to the metal fast as you can go neck in neck break neck speed Whoa. Yes Okay It'd be hard for that to go better for us They just took out a bunch of guys behind us. That was good. That was good Hopefully he didn't think we were the ones that did that. I feel like things are gonna start getting a little bit crazy now. And this is kind of a hard, uh, a hard race to judge the performance of this car in comparison to other sports cars. So far, we've done pretty well. But honestly, I just, just for the fact that it's so rare to find races for it, I wouldn't buy this thing. For wh that reason and that reason alone. Whoa! Whoa! What in the world just happened, dude? <laughs> Let's go! We didn't hit the race or the, the jump appropriately, I don't think. Here we go. Go around that guy. Let's just keep leapfrogging each other, bro. Let's just get ahead of these guys. Let's play it nice with each other. Oh, man. The pack is starting to catch up. That's where it's going to get scary. this I have no clue what's going on dude just stay on the gas these um the the Z cars I think is what they're called I think he's trying to spin us out those Z cars are the fastest sports cars at least they were previously when they first came out which was like a year and a half two years ago like a long 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 time ago I'm not sure what it's like now but those things definitely used to be the cream of the crop <laughs> What is happening? I'm trying to race nice with these guys. Oh, we've got three of these things up all together. This is kind of exciting. You know you didn't want to do that, right? Oh! Oh! No! He ended up being okay. <laughs> he sent one of those Z things off into the, the wilderness. Dude, I'm, I'm glad we got a really long race for this because there's no way we would have been able to do a second race. We never would have found another lobby. I wouldn't be able to sit for another two hours, dude. And I was getting so frustrated. They just don't really, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we hit. We hit the, the, the draft at the exact wrong point right there. 
We could not have had a worse point to hit that draft at. Oh, nice. That actually worked out for us, though. All right, we're in sixth place. We'll see what happens here. This is going to be interesting. We hit that draft and, and got airborne and just kind of lost... Lost everything. This guy keeps honking at us, so I think he might be a friendly. Let's work together, bro. Gotta be careful these turns, though. We haven't raced this race in so long. Oh, gosh. I'm just not... I forgot how crazy these turns were. All right, we're in a seventh place here, but we have five guys all looped up right in one here. First place has definitely... Made a name for himself. He's he's way out front there. He's he's distancing himself, but I think we might be able to catch these guys. Come on, Dark Matter. Help me out here, bro. We grab that draft. Got 18 checkpoints left. Let me grab that draft, bro. Come on. Not gonna let me grab it, huh? I feel like we're right on the edge of where we should be grabbing it. I'm gonna take the inside, try to catch some ground. If you stay on the insides, we're gonna start catching these guys. Let's catch the draft on him. Dude, I thought we were going over that guardrail. 100% I, life flashed before my eyes. I thought, I thought that was the end of the race. All right, we're gonna probably end up getting a top five, which I'm okay with. But uh, it could have been better. But it could have been much worse too. See you, bud. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not going to spin you out. He just saw me spin somebody else out, so he's sketched out right now. We're in top three right now. Here we go, fellas. We've got eight checkpoints left to go. First is still pretty far ahead, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch that. Caught this guy on a draft. Got him! Let's go! F40 life, baby! Let's work together. Come on. Work together, work together, work together. Let me grab you. I'm gonna go out in front of you. We're gonna grab him. We've got three checkpoints left. We just made an insane comeback. Is this guy going to catch us? He might catch us. I think we got him. What a comeback, baby! What a race! Holy cow! I waited two hours for that, and every single moment of it was worth it. I cannot believe that we came back after the, that middle section where we overshot the checkpoint and had to turn around. Oh my gosh, that is just absolutely incredible. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was an episode and a half. I had a lot of fun. I actually really like this car. I like the way it looks. It seems to handle itself pretty well. It was keeping up with that old school Z car. I forget what its actual name is. But um, just the fact that it's in the class it's in is a little frustrating. So 700 grand, it's up to you guys. To me, it's not really worth it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. So I'm going to catch you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.